this is Samsung DeX or DEX and this is a Samsung Galaxy S10 and uh, it's just been wiped and then I've reset it put my account on so that I've got Play Store plugged in a USB cable into a USB monitor and the USB monitor has USB ports and I've plugged in a wireless keyboard and mouse combo so that I've got both keyboard and mouse with one USB socket and you could connect Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to the phone if you don't have USB sockets and the latest version of Samsung DeX works with wireless screens so you don't necessarily need a USB monitor but I thought you know this is a cracked Samsung S10 the back is cracked the screen is cracked but it's still basically a computer and Samsung DeX lets me use it as a computer and here we have Geekbench 6 results so single core 812 multi-core 2209 so it's not as fast as the newest phones the newest phones are around 10,000 multi-core um, and it's only running Android 12 because I haven't updated this phone yet since resetting it but you know I can run multiple different apps web browsers and it's working pretty well I can choose a desktop site if I want over here on the left I've got all of the different applications you can lock it exit contact um, you can switch between the different apps that are running use the home button and then you've got the apps along the bottom as well as all of your settings on the right hand side so you can see the date and connect to Wi-Fi and things like that and it kind of just works quite nicely um, I would say that some of the websites that you visit may benefit from using the desktop mode rather than mobile but if we go to YouTube we should be able to play some content let's try again this might be a little bit out of date or hmm I wonder what it's doing that let's have a look at YouTube on Google Chrome so it works on Google Chrome I think this YouTube app most likely needs updating let's have a look at video playback we should benefit from the sound from the speakers in the monitor and of course we've got an advert two adverts actually but playbacks really quite smooth you can get stats for nerds and it's using VP09 codec and Mobile phones have some really good um, video uh, hardware in there so that they have the codecs needed for smooth playback. Let's try get this full screen. That works quite nicely. And it's just like using YouTube on a website, basically. Really nice. Um, I think once you start trying to use some of the more advanced applications it's possible you might run into problems but this kind of feature should be available on all mobile phones they're basically fast processors multi-core processors that can run you know modern software why is this not available on all android and iphones um so that you can turn your old phone into a computer it'd be interesting to see if there were other desktops available perhaps there are um, because it seems a real waste that every time you know broken screen broken back you might think well i need a new phone but the kind of rest of this is still there it's still working so 
be really good for the environment if we could start using old phones as computers. Um, all you need is a screen, keyboard and mouse. And you've got something that doesn't use much power being given a second life. This phone has got 128 gigabytes of storage and it's got eight gigabytes of RAM, which is, you know, better than the budget laptops that are available, HP streams, etc., um, that come with four gigabytes of RAM. And this is an old, lap, uh, old phone as well. So, you know, I think these are available for about 50 pounds on eBay and depending on the condition, you might be able to get one for even less. This just works really, really nicely. And um, this is an old version of Dex. There's a new version and it has changed quite significantly. But I really do think that this feature is kind of a killer feature for Samsung phones. Um, Google Pixel phones have added a desktop mode. Um, Honor Magic 8 Pro has this feature as well. Um, but if you want to kind of work out how to use something and then get used to it, sticking with Samsung would be a good way of doing that so that you can use Samsung. And then if you have to replace your phone, then you can use the Samsung and it's all quite familiar. And yeah, I really do think that... Um, this is something that Samsung should be applauded for. Okay, Angry Birds, I don't think is going to work with this, <laughs> but that's a shame. Let's go back to YouTube. Let me skip this. This is in desktop mode. It seems to work much better. You know, the mobile version just kind of looks a bit weird, um, but desktop makes things much easier to use with a mouse. And if you've got a Samsung phone and you haven't tried Samsung Dex, give it a go because, you know, if you're able to take your phone with you everywhere you go, which is pretty much what everyone does, then maybe you could use it instead of having to carry a laptop with you if you go to places with screens that you can connect to. Um, yeah, this is just a quick video looking at Samsung Dex and this old version. Here's the Samsung Dex version. I might either update this phone to the latest version of Samsung Dex, see what that's like, or I might use a different phone that I've got that is updated. I've got an S24 Ultra that I can use with the latest version of Dex. And I might kind of have a quick look at what the differences are. But if you use Samsung Dex, let me know in the comments. And you can tell me what version of Dex you're using. Are you using the latest version? Or, you know, have you, for some reason, stuck with an older version? If you got this far, thank you for watching and see you in another video.